Hello, Lola's. So I am going to get her dress. I was starting to, and I was like, uh, I'll do it on camera. Now, where I am perfectly okay with unlimited silicone additions at this point, um, because it seemed like that's what most people are doing anyway, even if it's, um, especially if it's for a decent price, um, I do very much still value and love having a baby that is a very, a, either a small limited edition or just a um, pretty small limited edition, like 20, 30 in the edition. I think that's a lot for full bodies, but um, in the big scope of things, it's still limited. <laughs> like 20 is still, you know, not a whole lot compared to wide range so she is a sold out edition um jennifer costello decided to do her as a sold out edition i mean not as, as a sold out edition that was our choice um she decided to do her as a limited edition and i really appreciate that because i know that they you know a lot of sculptors they're like, I can get more money if I just keep running the kit, especially if it's, you know, one that people actually is liking. And they can cut the price and, you know, yeah. So I get I get the, the financial standpoint for the, the sculptor themselves, which is why I don't fuss as much about it. I just, you know, if I want it, I buy it. If I don't, I don't. And that's just the way it goes. I'm not going to, how does this go? Oh, this, does this go to this? I think so. Um, I think this, Jamie K is some of the stupidest raps. <laughs> I know everybody be hyped up on, on Jamie K. I, I have a one friend that kind of started me looking at Jamie K. But I feel like the way she puts her clothing together makes it look really good. Like it look like money when she do it. I feel like mine look like great value when I do it. One partially because I don't, I'm, I don't know, I'm not that moved by. But I do like the way their clothes fit. The babies but they're very expensive and I it's not my thing but I had a couple pieces that I got at one point so I still use them but yeah so I you know I like a limited edition I wish that there were more out there um you know and not a limited time I you know a limited time uh, when a mold breaks, all that is old news. Now that we're more educated on how this silicone thing works, the mold don't break until you want it to. Um, most people make backup molds. And so <laughs> they can they can make these dolls to, you know, I'm 100 years old if they want it to. You know what I mean? Um, all they got to do is keep having backup molds or whatever and yeah some people might not do that and might say okay I'm just gonna go one run of this and be done but that's you know and you're like oh when I get this baby and you think hey I got the last one <laughs> and then someone goes next thing you know they come back out and say up oh, I'm pouring some more such and such kits again <laughs> five years later so I don't know and I don't I don't mind like I said I don't mind depending on the price I'm not gonna pay top dollar for a kit that's a million of them out there um, unless I really really love it then it's like I don't care but for the most part when I pay when I'll pay more money for something is when it's usually when it's really limited. This hat done been through pure 
you know what so don't judge don't judge I'm just putting her on a hat but yeah this is little Shelby she has an open mouth she has a tongue does she have gums no she don't have a top comb but her mouth is sculpted in a closed position that's another thing I like about silicone some silicones are sculpted in a closed position and I really like that um, this has a very preemy size nipple this one is even more narrow um, if I want to keep her in all purple I can do that or I can break it up with the pink but all I gotta do and put my little finger in there but normally if I put KY on there it just slides right in and voila so there you have it I am almost finished with her hair if you notice most of my babies in my personal collection they just I'm doing better though because I'm getting to a point where like I can have them with you know their hat off so I'll go get pretty good ways on it but I'm gonna she got hair in the back actually she got a good bit in the back as well but it's just like that midsection right here she needs hair and so I'm like I said she's gonna be in line I have Brianna slash Emmy my full body I'm finishing up hopefully in a couple days and then I have She's sold. She has a mommy. Um, and then I have, um, I'm going to finish uh, Leela next because she's the second prototype. And I'm going to get her finished. And just FYI, for those that may not know, um, when I work with certain sculptors or artists, or sculptors, I should say, um, Sometimes they tell me I don't have to root them. I can I can do them as ball babies if I want. Um, so when you see me taking my time to root them, it's because I don't have to. Um, everybody have different requirements for their prototypes, and I guess it depends on who you are and you know how you market for them. And apparently, my marketing strategies work. Um, and I'm going to tell you why they work. Um, because I don't just do prototypes just to do them. Um, just for a free kit. I take on projects that I actually want to do. And so I rather it's a challenge to see if I can make it look different. Or if I, you know, really, really love it for my personal collection. Um, I'm not going to take on something that I can't sell myself on, much less sell somebody else something. So, um, when I have one and I share it with you guys, it's something that I'm genuine about. So, it doesn't matter if they're in fancy smancy clothes or just their onesie or whatever. Because at the end of the day, all that stuff is an attraction to the baby and it does make people stop and look. But they're not buying the clothes. So when you're marketing for a sculptor, you know, that's why like I'm like when I see people saying they have a doll up for sale and it's a full body and it's fully clothes, hand mitts, socks, baby dress like this and it says it's up for sale. I'm not going to even if all the pictures are like this, I'm not even going to look at it. First of all, why is it got a pacifier in the mouth? I can't see what the mouth look like because that could change the look of the baby. Um... I can't see the, the the body style. I can't see if if it has armpits, not have armpits, if the arms are attached to the sides. I can't tell, you know, what the legs look like, what the feet look like. Like, this is not a, a good example of a I'm trying to sell you a baby type thing. Full body mean I need to see the full body. So, anyway, and with silicone, I like seeing movement videos as well. Um, so, you know, everybody does their thing differently and everybody have a different audience too. So a lot of people, um, especially prototype artists, they cater to 
their audience and their reach within the community. So, um, anyway, I don't know. I felt like I need to say all that, but, um, that is, that is why sometimes you may see my prototypes take a while. Now, if I was planning on selling them right away, then of course, then they get painted, rooted right away. And some of them I do right away anyway, depending on time. Sometimes I accept them when I already have other projects going, which is what I did with Leela. And she just ended up kind of skipping past the line of getting painted before um, some of my other obligations. And um, so anyway, but it's, 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 it's fun. I love, love these babies, but shh. So anyway, so it'll be Emmy, um, Leela, and then I'm going to finish her here. And then I'm going to uh, be rooting probably whoever get finished first. My Neely or my Mavery. I don't know which one. But whichever one get finished first is probably going to get rooted first. And I've been uh looking at different hairs and stuff like that and also i've been trying to root different hairs with different babies to see how it's going to work so i can have an idea so when i get to certain babies <laughs> i know what hair i want to use i am not good with picking out hair as far as like looking at it and saying oh this is going to be super curly or this is going to be wavy like i go off of what they tell me it is but then sometimes when you root it, it don't curl the way you had envisioned it to curl or wave the way you envisioned it to wave or lay the way you envisioned it to lay. So, but luckily I've been doing really good with um, the, the hair that I've been using. I really like it lays and curls. So I love that. So yeah, but I don't use cheap mohair. In my baby's hair. All my baby's hair is very high quality. Um, because, yeah, why would I do that? <laughs> why would I not put, you know, the good stuff? But anyway, once again, another video is completed. I know you guys are probably like, where is the new boy? He's coming. He's coming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.